people. All experienced automotive technicians think they have what it takes to call themselves fast track techs. The best in the business. Let's put them to the test and see how good they really are at finding and fixing some serious real world vehicle problems. To help them tackle five of the nastiest diagnostic and repair problems you'll see in any garage, they're going to need the right tools. So we're giving them the MTG 2500 Color Graphing Scanner from Snap-on with all the software they'll need. All right, here's the deal, guys. You're fighting the clock to get five cars with tough problems in and out of the shop. You all think you're on the fast track, so I'm giving you one hour. Here's your first challenge, a 1998 Ford Explorer. Figure out what the problem is and how to fix it. And the clock starts now. Go. Let's right. see what the customer's complaint is. Ah, rough idle. Let's do a visual on it first. Clear. Go. Let's check for some obvious things. You got anything over there? No, it looks all set up. All the wires look on over here. Yeah. Well, let's check for codes. Yeah, grab the scanner. Going to need a primary and drivability. Hand me the cable. What's the idea? I'm going to need the 10th bin. W. Uh, second. F. Fifth. U. Eighth. E. Automatic transmission and uh, air conditioning there. Got it. K. Uh, K2A. Excellent. Nope, no codes. No codes. Let's How about to, symptoms? Yeah, let's go to the troubleshooter. Symptom tips. Symptom tips. Yeah. Rough idle. Since we don't have a code, it says that it may be caused by lower plenum cylinder head O-ring seals. Is there a way to test that? Scroll on. Well, it says that we ought to check the fuel trim pits for a lean command while applying propane to the rails. You want I'm to right grab the propane? propane? Okay. Excellent. Start it up, Al. We go clear. It's moving out, Eddie. There we go. Short-term trim is dropping. Yeah, it's coming down. Definitely. Looks like we got some bad O-ring seals. Swap out the O-rings. I think we got our problem solved. You got it. We're done. Well, they really thought they threw a challenge at us, but when you're using the scanner with a troubleshooter, it takes all the guesswork out of it. Confirm the problem. Do the repairs here real quick, and we'll be ready to go. Piece of cake. I hope they get tougher from here on out. Kenny doesn't know what he's up against. Hey, don't get cocky yet, guys. Let's see how you do with our next Fast Track Tech Challenge. It's a 97 Honda Civic. This just got one little problem. It only starts when it feels like it. Ooh, right. it. Well, the customer's complaining of an intermittent no start. However, she did drive it in this morning. All right. Wait. We're in luck. Lisa doesn't start. That's a good thing. Let's push it in. Push, Brian. I'm pushing. Pop the hood. I'm good. Pop the hood. Who knows how long it's been cranking over. Let's throw a DTAC on it, check the charging system, and uh, run a quick battery charge. Battery looks good. We'll run an auto charge on it. Okay, number three. Nope. Number four. Nope. No spark. We got a coil problem. Coordination primary. And the troubleshooter. Yep, you're in the right spot, Anna. Oh, yeah. It's a three pin. Honda One connector. <laughs> Got it. Thank you, sir. You bet. You're good. No codes. Good. How about symptoms? Symptom tips we go. Hey, look at there. No start, stalling hot, tack jumps. Field ticks report finding loose connections at ignition coil. Can cause intermittent no starts, stalling when hot. Everything looks tight at the connectors. All the wires are in place. Nothing's broke. Check for bottom out coil screws. Screws are too long. Shorten screws with bolt cutters as needed. Well, there's a coil. There's the negative. There's the positive. For heck, the yep. wire's already loose. It's loose. Okay, I got the screw out. You got the cutters? I got the cutters. There you go. That's it. This takes care of the problem. It doesn't get any easier than this. Screw snug. Wire's nice and tight now. It wasn't before. Let's get the cap and rotor back on there. All right. Okay, we're snugged up. We're clear. Ready to go. All right, clear. Look at that. Oh, you got my. it. All right. The troubleshooter indicated that there was recent coil work done. There may have been a lot too long a bolt put in, keeping you from starting the vehicle. That appeared to be the problem. After snipping the bolt, we put it back in, and it started like butter. Bring it on. What's the next one, Kenny? 
You know, I'm thinking that last one was way too easy for you guys. So deal with this, a 1998 Nissan 240SX. Okay, what's the repair order say on this one? Huh? Misfire. Piece of cake. Wanna fire it up and confirm it? Clear? Clear. Oh yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right. Nothing all right. obvious? Connectors are all on. Okay, let's see what Scanner can do for us on this one. All right. Got the scanner with an Asian import, primary and troubleshooter. Check, check. PO302, cylinder two misfire. Determine which cylinder is misfiring but performing a, a uh, power balance test. No game. Boy, does that sound bad? Yeah, that's a bad mess. Okay, let's go to select cylinder two. This is two. Ah. Not nearly as much as the other one did. So let's go confirm that we've got a bad injector in this thing. <clears throat> okay, it says with key on engine running, listen for injector clicking with stethoscope oh, on affected that's cylinder. Me. Hi, hi, Dr. Anna. Thank you. Check number two and three. Clicking, Anna. It says here, check to see if you're if clicking on injector. If you don't hear clicking, then we've either got a bad connector or a bad injector. So it says uh, use meter to check resistance on injector should be between 10 and 14 ohms. Now according to this reading, I bet we got a short positive. This thing's stuck open. How's that plug look? Black. Nasty. That thing's fouled. Let's pull this injector, get it replaced, put a new set of plugs in this thing, fire it up, we're out of here. Let's do go. it. Let's yep. hurry up. Instead of chasing around the engine compartment trying to figure out where to go next, the scanner leads us in the right direction. Please. Go ahead. All right. Like yeah. a kitten. Smooth. Smooth. Got it. Oh. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. You're three for three. You talking to me? So let's see how you do on. Bring it on, Kitty. A 98 Chevy Monte Carlo with a 3.8 liter engine. Go for it. All right, you guys. The RO says the check engine light's on and there are no drivability complaints. Oh, this thing's a piece of cake. I work on these all the time. Pull the code on it. Yeah, it's a uh, P0401. Oh, piece of cake. That's an EGR. Pop the hood. All you gotta do is pop the connector on this thing, do a couple of quick squirts. We really don't have that much information, Alex. They always come loose and get greased. How many miles on this thing? It's probably got at least 70, 80? 91,000. 91,000. It's on every one of these. Start it up and let's back this thing out and give it a test drive. See if that light stays out. What a horse's ass. <laughs> he needs to slow down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not the way you treat a customer's car. I mean, it's just not done. If it, it pans out, out, it's great, but if not, uh, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll lead our own words. A little cocky there. Here he comes. Oh. How'd it go? Didn't even make it out a lot before the light came back on. Well, let's go, man. We've got no yeah, time. We're losing we're time. Running. Let's read the whole tip before we get excited, okay? Sounds like a good idea, Anna. PCM test EGR by momentary commanding EGR open during decel and monitoring map signal voltage. Ah. Ah. Maps in play. Let's look at the map sensor. All right. There we go. There it is. And back. there it is. Right there. Let's see. It's got no vacuum line. That means it must be getting direct manifold yeah. vacuum. There should be a nipple on there. Oh, that's right. These have those little orange O-rings on them. There, there it is. Which is totally crap. Yep. There we go. <laughs> this thing's a wreck. Do we have this, this part? I think we've got it. That should be good, hopefully. OK. Code's cleared? Yeah. Things good under here. Take it for a drive. I feel good. I feel good. You might want to take it easy feeling. on the tires this time. I think I will, Al. You know, you think you know a car well enough that you've seen something before and you think they're all like that. But uh, the scanner told us specifically in the tip that uh, this is more of a map sensor problem than there is a EGR flow problem. Oh, well, it went a lot better since we followed the scanner. Well, sometimes it pays to follow instructions. All right. right on. Not much time Thanks, to spare. Buddy. All right, man. No tattoos and minor bruises, scratches, and scars. <laughs> We're out of here. We're done. See ya, Kenny. Adios, guys. Let's see how they did on the five fast track tech challenges. Well, looks like these three have earned the right to call themselves fast track techs. Just one thing they haven't learned yet. Always protect your scanner. Hey, Maynard. <laughs>